Hello, my name is Virginie Erlacher. I am a researcher and professor at CERMIX, the Applied Mathematics Lab of École des Ponts Paris Tech. Do you know the link between quantum chemistry, data science, weather forecast, neutronics, crowd motion, urban traffic or molecular dynamics? In all these application fields, making predictions by means of numerical simulation requires the resolution of very high dimensional problems. Indeed, in all these situations, the state of the system of interest is characterized by a function, which is usually solution of a mathematical model, and which depends on a potentially very large number of variables. Let me give you a first example. In quantum chemistry, the state of the electrons within a molecule is described by its so-called wave function which is solution to the so-called Schrodinger equation. The knowledge of this wave function is very important for applications because it encodes all the electronic, chemical and optical properties of the molecule. This function depends on a very large number of variables, three times the number of electrons, which can be huge for complex molecules. Why are such problems very challenging from a computational point of view? Because of the so-called curves of dimensionality, this expression was coined by Bellman to refer to the fact that the size of problems to solve in order to compute approximations of a function by standard numerical methods scales exponentially with the number of variables the function depends on. Thus, for high-dimensional problems, standard numerical approaches simply cannot be carried out. My main research activity is to design and analyze from a mathematical point of view numerical methods for high-dimensional problems which circumvent this curse of dimensionality. This requires the use of various tools from different mathematical fields, such as PDE analysis, stochastic processes, or machine learning. Let me give you another example of high-dimensional problems, which are very important for industrial applications. Quantities of interest of many complex systems can be obtained as a solution of a mathematical model, which depends on a large number of parameters. As a consequence, the values of the quantities of interest of the system depend on the values of the parameters in the model. For instance, in crowd motion applications, the quantity of interest is the evolution of the positions of the agents in the crowd, and parameters may be the speed of each individual or the configuration of the place where the agents are located. There are a lot of contexts where it is needed to numerically compute the values of the quantities of interest for a large number of values of the parameters. Imagine, for instance, that you would like to optimize the shape of a movie theater room so that people can evacuate as quickly as possible in case of an emergency. This would require a lot of computations for various shapes of the room and would take a huge computational time with standard methods. Model order reduction approaches are one family of mathematical methods which enable to drastically speed up numerical simulations of complex systems, the behavior of which depends on a large number of parameters. The gain in terms of computational times offered by these techniques, in comparison with classical approaches, can be huge. The speed-up factor can be of the order of 10, 100 or more, which of course is very interesting in many industrial contexts. The industrial need for such performing simulation tools is steadily growing. For instance, I am currently working on model order reduction methods in collaborations with the French Atomic Energy Institute for Neutronics Applications, with the French Electricity Company for Carbon Dioxide Storage Issues, and with Safran Tech for the optimization of airplane motor devices. If you are interested in these fields, and more generally in mathematics and their applications, do not hesitate to contact us.